The MBTA dealing with several breakdowns so far this summer. Lawmakers insist changes are on the way, but this morning our John Keller wants to hear your thoughts. Good morning. These should be the best of times for the MBTA. Beautiful weather with none of the hazards that often disrupt service during the winter and fall. Years of focus on fixing T operations and service and hundreds of millions of dollars spent to improve tracks and other infrastructure. Riding the T these days should be a commuter's dream, right? Try nightmare instead. Power systems keep failing, forcing riders to abandon their trains and trolleys for nightmarish waits to pack onto shuttle buses. The green line and red line have had an especially tough stretch, with numerous breakdowns frustrating customers. And with the traffic bad and getting worse, and the cost of keeping a car on the road, most long-suffering T riders have no choice but to keep on suffering. The biggest benefit associated with this is going to be the additional vehicles uh, that can be used uh, to support the traveling public, especially during key, key busy times. You know, on the green line, that's going to mean commutes, but it's also going to mean baseball games and stuff like that. Governor Baker and T officials keep asking for patience. New trains and better service are on the way, they say. And I want to know, do you believe it? And what would you like to see the T do to make it more bearable while we're waiting? Later this morning, I'll be talking with MBTA General Manager Luis Ramirez in an interview that'll air this Sunday morning at 8.30. Why not send me a question or comment, and I'll pick some of them to share with him. Reach me via email at keller at wbztv.com or use Twitter at Keller at Large.